Well, hello, welcome back to Man V Film to a kind of update video of sorts. Um, over the past few months I found myself kind of spiralling down into old habits that I previously had. Always trying to break free from them, always trying to always play catch up and never quite getting there. Um, this has been kind of spurned on by the other day asking if I was still doing the watch pile videos, which I fully intended to continue. But I was trying to sort of almost game the system a little bit because the last time I did one, it was June the 8th uh, when I gave it the update and then I had a couple of sales, things spiralled out of control and the watch pile just became too large and it was almost um, embarrassing, I suppose, to, to, to talk about the amount of movies I had gathered, the amount I had watched, and how the watch pile was growing rather than going down. And I felt as if I, I kind of broke away from what the watch pile was for me, or, or tried to avoid it. it. It was, or it should have been, a cold reckoning for me. This is where I stand. This is what I picked up. This is what I watched. This is how bad the situation's got. This is how good the situation's got. I should have been assessing my watching, my buying, my priorities uh, and keeping myself accountable. But I knew I was stepping away from that. I knew I wasn't sticking to the rules I had. I knew I had overstepped the mark. And rather than confront that fact and own up to the fact, I just kept delaying it. I'll push this watch pile video further down the line and then I can catch up when I've I, I've watched more and it's not as bad. Things never got there. Um, I kept watching lots of movies, breakthrough and then more would come in and it's been confounding the problem. So roughly the last time I, I left you guys I had about 140 movies in the watch pile. Way more than I wanted. It was it was getting bigger. And and on a rough count, although I'm sure I'm missing some, since the last update that I have done on June the 8th, I've added about 200 movies to the collection. 200. <laughs> Even saying that seems ridiculous to say that amount because you know, it's, it's a matter of months, I suppose. And, but in that same time, I've watched over 140 discs. So I, I have been going through them all. But I just find that I've got to a stage where I can't do another watch pile video because the format I was doing it in, it was too much. I, I need to kind of break away from it. And I do want to get back into them. And I need some regularity in those processes. So I will be doing a watch pile video every month now regardless of the situation um, to kind of keep myself on the, the straight and narrow as I try to plow through these movies um, so the first Thursday of every month will be um, uh, will it be the first Thursday pretty soon after the start of the month probably the first Thursday if not earlier than that will be the previous month's watch pile from the first of the month to the end of the month what I picked up, what I watched, where the situation is now um, to, as I try to get some control back on my collecting habits which I've definitely got out of control I, I've tried many things to kind of curb them and I feel like I've, I've almost taken steps back in the collecting world, uh, regressing into old habits, going back into uh, the old way of thinking uh, and although I'm still trying to stick to the buy and watch, it's becoming much harder than that. Uh, also, if you've noticed with my channel, I've been finding out lots of movie reviews, uh, very little kind of conversational, not a lot of blurry updates, some announcement videos here and there because I've just become um, almost a little bit regressive in the social media output. I, I've never been one that's really jumped on social media to get like a, a big following or to have a um, major success. Of course it's always great if something like that happens but I've known for a long while that's never going to get that way and as my channel kind of seems to quiet down a little bit, 
I just focus on the one thing that makes me happy and that's the films uh, and someone asked me the other day it was a question like how do I choose what I get do I get specific, specific labels to push videos to push views to drive people to the channel and the answer to that is just simply no I watch movies and I pick up movies because I'm usually very interested in them and it's things I want to watch there are certain labels I don't talk about because I'm not as knowledgeable about those labels there are certain films I don't look at because I'm just not that interested as a, a film fan movie goer um, a collector I, I never want to be driven by what everybody wants. It's, it's my own tastes and what I am enjoying. And at the moment, uh, what I'm reviewing is things that I'm genuinely enjoying. But I do feel as if I've, I've hit the wall almost with the movie watching, with the channel, with everything that's going on. Um, and I just need to kind of almost shake myself out of that funk. Things are going to happen that may affect the channel further down the line. I've got a new job. I've been in the process of trying to get one for a while. I've got it. I start in a couple of weeks. I don't know how that's going to impact movie watching, collecting, videos. I I, I don't know. I, I, probably the content is going to continue. A video every day. I don't see that me breaking out that habit. I've been doing it now for seven years. It's just in me to make sure that there's always something lined up to come up. Um, even now, as I talk to you, I'm sitting with, I think it's about 20, 22 videos ready to be um, posted at any point. I'm sitting with another 40 to 50 <laughs> videos waiting to be edited at any point. Whenever I get a free minute, I'm usually trying to do something like that. Uh, to keep it fresh and entertained myself, to keep me engaged. So it's become a, a ritual and a habit, so I'm always going to be putting the content out. I want to do more stuff for Patreons. I would love to get back to the live streams, but the way things are going on in my life at the moment, I just don't have the time uh, to do these live streams, although I would love to get back into the habit of that. So basically, um, my collecting habits have regressed. I've took a step back. I'm a little bit embarrassed by the, the state of the way things have went. I am going to rectify that, hopefully, by doing the watch pile, um, give myself some accountability. I'm going to be looking to sell movies again. Uh, I took a step back from that for a while, but there's, there's stuff I've added to the collection that I've watched that I know I'm never going to watch again. And I, 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 I just need to move on. If I'm not going to watch it again, what's the point in even keeping it? Uh, so there'll be certain things that, although I'm curating a collection, there are certain things I just don't need. So I, I, I'll get them up on eBay and sell them as usual. I'll try to either list or link to something that will tell you my current watch pile down below so you can actually have a look and see what's there to be watched. It's a document I keep, um, just a simple sheets document that just lists every film that I've got sitting here. I list it with the title and the runtime, and I, I just kind of jump onto that and pick a film out of it when I'm struggling for something to watch, when I don't have movies I've bought or screeners that have been sent to me um, to check out as well, which I think is a little bit the problem as well, watching things that I have to review in a certain amount of time uh, screeners, you know, it's, it's nice to get these things in advance. Um, I've got one here just now, which is, uh, yeah, Memento. So, you know, I've got that, these kind of things to check out and review, which I actually just watched before doing this video. God damn, that's a great film. Uh, but yeah, these kind of things all take up time, and I'm hoping to rectify a lot of this and try and get some direction back into the channel. But for the meantime, you can expect plenty of reviews coming out. You could do me a favour, like them, watch the videos, even if you're not interested in the film, just watching it, uh, the video throughout, just helps the channel, which I think my channel needs a little bit of help at the moment just to lift up. It seems to be just treading water. If you have any ideas, I'd love to hear from them. Uh, for the patrons, for the membership people, I'm... I'm hopefully going to be getting extra content to you soon. I appreciate your support. It really is invaluable to me at the moment in helping me out, especially as I save for some new equipment again. 
where everything's kind of gone. You'll probably see I'm using my computer camera at the moment because my other camera has just died. Had it for a long while, it was a sad loss, but uh, we make do with what we have at the moment. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. I appreciate the, the, the time spent just listening to me ramble um, and I hope to have a little conversation with each and every one of you who wants to drop a comment in the comment box below. As always, there's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff, which please click on the video, watch it, watch it all. That helps the channel, uh, which would be great for me. And I'll see you next time on Man V Film and the return of the watch list, the watch pile redux soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.